Hello, my name is Amanda Lay Walters and I'm a PhD student in the Horticulture Department at the University of Arkansas. I'm here at the University of Arkansas's Fruit Research Station in Clarksville. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to sample blackberry leaves to monitor the nutrient status of the plant and to check if our fertilizer program has been successful for this season. For floricane fruiting varieties, we recommend to sample after the harvest of the floricane fruit. This is generally late July or early August. For primocane fruiting varieties, we want to sample the, at the green to red stage of the primocane fruit. Keep these timings in mind because when we sample impacts how much nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium we expect to see in the plant at the time of sampling. If you take a sample that is early in the season, those results would not be able to be compared to the established ranges that are recommended for the late season sample date. I'm currently standing in a planting of Wachita blackberries. So we would use the recommended sampling time for a floricane fruiting variety, which would be post harvest. Along with sampling at the correct time, we also want to sample the correct leaf. For blackberries, that is the most recently mature leaf on the primocane. And I can show you how to do that now. When sampling our leaves, we want to start at the tip of the primocane and count four to five leaves down. We want to pick our leaf with the petiole still attached. And also we want to pick a leaf that is undamaged and that does not have any disease or soil residue on it. Leaves do not need to be washed and should be immediately placed in a paper bag to store, not plastic. When we collect our samples, we want to make sure we're taking at least 50 leaves per sample. Remember, it's better to have too many leaves than too few. While we're sampling, we want to make sure that we're taking from multiple plants across the field and we're not collecting all of our leaves from one small area of the field. Samples can be split up into separate samples or multiple samples. If our field has a lot of variation, such as variation in plant age, topography, or soil type. We recommend for very large farms, you can separate by cultivar. And for farms in general, you should separate the plantings if they're far apart, if their soil type changes, or if there's a change in topography in the field that's significant. Once we have those samples collected, we can send them off to various labs for nutrient analysis, including the University of Arkansas's lab. After we send them off, we should get our results back and you can interpret your results to see if our primocanes have received sufficient nutrients for the season and to adjust your fertilizer program for next year. Keep an eye out for our upcoming video on how to interpret our results from our tissue samples. And thank you so much for watching.